So, I am going to be playing using a 360 controller. And hello, I am Jester Day Rama. And I am the Doctor, or otherwise known as Doctor Hooves or Time Turner, all depending on whose production I might be in. But I'll let Jester handle the rest of the introduction. And yes, everything here is unscripted. This is currently a new idea I had where I'm myself and voicing a character. So it's a little bit of a back and forth. It might seem a little bit crazy, but I personally think of it as fun. Because why wouldn't you want to have fun with another character? Especially one who happens to be a time traveler. It's freaking awesome. So, oh, sorry, yeah, um, I, the game I'm playing is Outlast, the uh, original game, not Whistleblower yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, that cold is still kind of kicking my throat. So yes, I'm not playing Whistleblower until I finish the original game, because I would prefer to know the whole story first before I get that little um, incident, as we'll call it, to kind of minimize any spoilers. <laughs> But, yes, welcome back to another stream, and, again, it'll be me, Jester, and me, the Doctor, playing Outlast, Avante! So, let's start and see how well I can do this. With a controller, since I've gotten so used to a keyboard and mouse over the years, I'm pretty sure my aim is going to stink using a controller. But hey, that'll just kind of add to the fun and hilarity, right? And yes, this is actually a good idea so I can warn you guys. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of the... Um, I was doing so good. You will <laughs> seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Mount Massive. Oh. So, sorry, I wanted just to get that in there. Giggity. <laughs> I'm horrible. I can't believe I'm doing it this badly right now. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, mm, or die. Yes, good times are ahead. Continue. Oh, Foxy the Pirate Co. Fox? Oh no, he's back! I remember him, he was kind of fun. He was a bot! A little bit, but you had fun with it. No, 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 no. He was trotting me the entire game. Well, just because he's trolling you doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I thought it was actually hilarious. You, you, oh, oh, just play the game. And we're in a car with a radio station going off. I'm apparently a press. Yeah, right. I'm the investigative guy. Derp. You are totally a derp. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Ominous gate with a little area where there's usually a, um, 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 what's it called? Guard? You know, like in Five Nights, where you kind of keep an eye on things. Except he's not there. I guess, uh, Freddy got him. September 17th, 2013, from blah 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 email to, um, oh, it's to this guy, Miles Upshur, at gmail.com. Huh. <laughs> you're plugging. Subject, tip, or is that T-I-P, slash, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Eh, excuse me, nose is acting up. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am sure I'm, oops, all sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Um, yeah, should I, pr I probably should have... Oh, wait, no, I think it said something about a warning with swearing earlier. Never mind. Um, terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. 
Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Close. Okay, just, I'll just press B, considering it's probably thinking the mouse is going to do something there. And the batteries magically disappear into his hand. And into his inventory. <laughs> Look at me. I'm from Condemned. Oh, nice. I actually... Oh, I wanted to see more of your ID. Night mode. Okay. Oh, I saw there's a little note for how many batteries I get. I guess, get, I, guess I get a max of ten. So... New objective! Investigate Mountain Massive Asylum! Okay, let's do the control thing that they always give us a tutorial for. Objectives are updated in your reporter's note. Oh, pff, well, excuse me. There, there's the notes. Nothing. Documents. The whistleblower. I wonder what that DLC is about. <laughs> and that's documents. That's notes. Is that almost ring necessary every time I close that menu? Oh, dramatic. So much horror. Um, password. I don't have a password. Oh, look. I can see myself. I have a snazzy jacket and cool pants, but no fancy buckle. You tuck in your shirt, but you don't have a fancy buckle? How dare you call yourself a stylish man? <gasps> oh, what's this? A gate closed? That obviously can mean only good things. And good things are the best things. They certainly are, except the fact you can probably die. You are a pessimist. Oh, no, I just want to troll you a little bit because, you know, Twitch kind of decides to always troll me. So why don't I just kind of play fan play like the audience? You can look at me like that all you want. It's not going to change anything. <sighs> anyway, oh, did I just change a battery? God dang it. I'll just open it slowly. Raise your camcorder. Press RB. Event recorded. Adding a note in your notebook. Press left but um, direct D-pad left to read it. Let me see what you guys were saying in the meantime, so I'm not talking too much. You are a talker. Thank you. Again. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing really new to new with you guys. Okay, you're only to take notes when you're watching events through the camera, of course. So I'll probably want to need to... You're going to... I can't get my words. So basically this is like Fatal Frame, just with an asylum. So it's kind of like Condemned crossed with Fatal Frame. Crossed with what looked like zombies or psychos who are, I guess, Resident Evil looking for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, first note. I start feeling sick looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a drama than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disgusting... Oop. I don't know it is disgusting. Of disguising... Excuse me. Profit as charity. Huh. Sounds like a lot of corporations I know of. But never on American soil. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> oh, sorry. Gonna cough. <coughs> uh. I told you I'm getting over a cold. I'm sorry. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Might be the finally this. Actually, I said that wrong. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. That sounds better. <coughs> pardon me. You're pardoned. Yep. Notes are only added. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's a spook. It's a spooky. A spooky spook. The spookiest of all spooks to have a spooky spook on a spooker. Oh, that's where the run button is. Could have used that at the beginning. But now I have to get immersed first. Oh, let's see. What is this? Mercs? <laughs> you spelled Mercs wrong. Her. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's probably a corporation. Um, yeah, it probably is. Well, if you're probably lucky, 
they'll probably be there to help you or just be there for one little scene where they get shot away or taken away by whatever exactly is inside the asylum. It's a good looking asylum. Yeah, it is. I like it. I do too. So, Doc. Oh, I thought that was a person. Mm, you wish it was, but no, you don't get any little secret things right away. Excuse you. Foxy, why are you doing things in the chat? Um. Uh, <laughs> everyone prepare for a maximum scoop, as said by Mike Barks. Um, X, that's right. Oh. I guess I don't have to use this door. Oh, that's actually a nice touch. They actually make you try both doors. That's pretty cool. I love it! They can actually go into detail! Perfect! Alright, which one was it? Nope, that's not it. That is, there it is. Strafe, strafe, strafe. Um, I'll just randomly try this. So, beginning of the game, you get trapped outside the asylum and have nowhere to go in the asylum. End of the game. It's not the end of the game, you little pessimist. Oh, that was a little bit greedy for you, Doctor. No, it was not. It kind of was. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me, I kind of messed up there. <laughs> you were doing fine for a little bit, but no. You just happened to mess up your whole character immersion by trying to go too quickly back and forth. I'm not breaking the fourth wall or anything. Oops. That's not it. You should be using your camera. There you go. Now you should investigate the thing over there. I don't want to. You will! Oh. That's cool. Hmm, so you have nowhere to really go, so... I'm guessing that's pla that little place over there is gonna be a locked door and you have to use the ladder. Uh... Yeah. So... <laughs> let's jump up the little stairway. And see if this is really locked. Told you so. Shh. You can't shush me. I will if I want to. And I will say, um, probably a little bit even less scripted. If I seem a little awkward doing this at first, I told you before, this is a first try being myself and a character, so... I'm trying to get them and myself. I'm sorry, I heard a noise. I was hoping for something more. Oh! So, press A to jump up. How much you want to bet that one of these boards is going to break? Mm, five credits. Ah, broken window. That's not ominous. <laughs> You're telling me. Oh dear. Um, press right. Um... Uses battery life. Fantastic! So, let's see where the psycho is. Probably behind the door. Mm-hmm. I probably want to do that more quietly. And nothing over there. You're gonna probably have to run. Uh, I hate running. Okay, left bumper for running, right? Of course the screwdriver is my ally, Foxy! Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Cloudy. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's okay, Doctor. It's okay. It was just a TV. You know, like, Sound Hill. This is actually creepier than I expected. I love it! You... are very... masochistic. Um, only if it comes to horror. Okay, flashing light. 
move towards the gap. Mind the gap. Oops. Oh, I really like the detail they have in this. Password. Um. Butts. <gasps> Batteries are used for infrared light of your camcorder. You can reload by pressing Y. I knew I wasted the battery! Okay, I want to get used to the camera. Okay, press that for night vision. Okay. What the? Did I just see something flash? HD, auto. I like a camera like this. It adds creepy vision. Okay. There's probably a monster behind there. Shh. No, just a camera off the hook. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's see what this says. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall... Wall... Wall Rider? Mass... Mount Massive CO. Um, oh yeah, I want to check the chat and see what you guys are doing. I didn't jump. Oh, wait. I uh, kind of did. Quiet. I didn't jump. That was the doctor. It wasn't me. That was the doctor. It was you. I'm technically an extension. Shut up. Okay, um, Mass Mount Massive CO, case number 174. Patient initials, WPH, quote-unquote, Billy. Consultation dated 2012-1014. Initial date of patient consult, blah, 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 age 19, male. Observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR. Therapy status, patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine. Activity observed at unprecedented scale. Whatever the heck that is, it's probably not anything close to whatever the machine was. And one flew over his, one who, one who, one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. If I can get one word out. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Oh gee. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. I'm willing to guess that's a little tube that goes up the nose. Hemat hematocrit centrifuge. Hematocrit centrifuge, again, failed to separate erith... erythros... This is what I get for not being a medical student. Erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM, NREM cycle. I know sleep cycles, though. Laughter in NREM state. Ooh, nice and creepy. Excuse me. No, this is still giving me trouble from the cold. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of D Dr. Traeger or Dr. Treasure? Note, the only Traeger or Treasure, I'm not sure, on company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Dryer... Oh, sorry, Wall Rider! Massive... Mount Massive CO. Um... Pfft. Bonnie's not gonna do anything. She's... Uh, he is just gonna stay over at Freddy's. And stay there forever. Doctor, you really hate Five Nights, don't you? It was very chaotic, and I don't like having to handle about, like, what? Eleven... Eleven animatronics? You try to handle eleven animatronics at once. Okay, what do I do here? Alright. Record an event, right? <sighs> do I get anything here? Let's see. X, was it? Nope. So, let's get some cola! Um, does this record anything? No, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> Way to go! Well, sorry, I didn't think it was gonna slam because I didn't know this guy slams doors! Well, you do now. Whoops. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Shh. Just imagine now, it didn't happen. It's 
so natural. Oh, you're gonna have vent scenes. You have to run from the little vent people. What? Huh. I'm guessing the best thing to do is to not go back there. Probably not. Oh. Let's just kind of go into this massively bloody area with chairs and blockades, which are replacements for invisible walls. Oh, wait, can I? Uh, no, I don't want to get stuck. Ooh, excuse me. My dinner was good. You should say excuse me. <laughs> ah! Is what happens when you get distracted by characters. Oh. 